JM Media. I'm Josh. Enjoying the view? So am I. For those of you who do not know this trick, it is called the green screen chroma keyer trick. Check this out. I'm in front of a green screen now. Notice how this green screen barely has any wrinkles. That is the main trick in getting the perfect chroma key effect. Wrinkles cause the number one problem in green screen effects. Shadows. Now, let's get to the editing portion of this video. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, uh, so I already have Vegas Pro open, and I have the clip that I want to chroma key, which is right here. Okay, and you can see right now, my green screen looks pretty perfect. You can't even see a wrinkle on it. Maybe one or two, but that's pretty much it. It looks like a solid wall, actually. So what we want to go ahead and do is, uh, before we start chroma keying, we want to go ahead and make a, a new video track. So right-click on the video track and click on Insert Video Track. We want to make sure that our green screen track is the dominant track because that's what's going to be in the front. All we need is a background, so that's going to go underneath and it's going to be the secondary track. So now all we need to do is find, let's find a track. Actually, you know what? Let's do that last. Okay. So um, let's go to the video effects tab and find chroma keyer. Where is it? Chroma keyer here. Go ahead and click on pure green screen, drag it over your clip. Okay. Uh, uncheck the chroma keyer. Take the pen drop tool. Select the color of the green screen which is green obviously, then check mark the chroma, chroma keyer again. I think this is a more effective way of doing stuff instead of just dragging and dropping the presets because the presets are never 100% perfect. This way you know for a fact it can be perfect. So let's go ahead and click on show mask only. All right. Now what we want to do, we want to make sure that the green screen in the back is pure black and we want to make sure that I am white, pure white. Okay. By doing that, uh, by having that in mind, we have to look at these three adjusters right here. We have the low threshold, high threshold, and the blur amount. Let's go ahead and play with the low threshold first and see how far it can take us. All right. It looks like it's making everything black out there. Okay. So let's go ahead and use the high threshold and make me white. Oh, that looks beautiful, guys. And uh, we can see a little white down here, so let's go ahead and fix the low threshold a little bit more. That's perfect right there. So now we can see that I am solid white. It perfectly uh, forms right over my body. And the black, the green screen, is completely blacked out. That's a perfect key right there. And if you want to smooth out the edges a little bit, you can go ahead and use the blur amount slider. Just a little bit, not too much and go ahead and uncheck the show mask only. We are now chroma keyed and we are now ready to put in our background. It can be an image or a video, whatever you like. So let's go ahead and find that background. I already have one right here, it's a sunset. Right there, and there we go. There's my chroma key effect right there. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's go ahead and play it, see how smooth it runs. Pretty good, pretty good. I like it. So, um, that's pretty much how Chroma Keying works. Remember, guys, you need to have the right amount of lighting, okay? Lots of lighting equals the perfect green screen effect, perfect Chroma Key, okay? I have 3,000 watt bulbs, or uh, 3,000 watt um, soft, soft boxes. Each soft box has about five. 200 watt bulbs and uh, they they run really well and I'm really happy with the purchase you can go ahead and find sets like these on eBay and I suggest that uh, you buy a carry case for them because you're probably gonna be moving to places shooting in different areas so it's it's always good to have more lighting not only for the green screen but if you want to shoot outside it's always great to have more lights alright guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I will see you next time